question, right? Who is your favorite trucking social media influencer? That was a question that was presented today in one of the Facebook groups. Who is your favorite trucking influencer on social media? So, of course, Lockout Men came in with the unpopular opinion on that. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Trucking influencers. I, I think that's a, a bad word to use. <laughs> trucking influencers. A person that drives a truck that influenced you to come into the industry. Drop it. Right. <laughs> no more wasting time. Let's get it. Right. Now, I never, I, I never considered myself an influencer. I, I always considered myself as a public figure, but not an influencer because I'm not here to influence you to come into trucking. It's a little bit of story time right quick, right? So when I came into trucking, I never looked to social media to make my decision to come into trucking. I already knew that I wanted to get into trucking years ago. I already made it a point that one day I was going to get my CDL and one day I was going to drive a truck or something that was attached to my CDL because the CDL is a commercial driver's license, not a trucking license. It's a commercial driver's license, meaning that any commercial vehicle other than a truck, I can drive. See, a lot of you guys got it twisted. Y'all think getting your CDLs, y'all think getting your CDLs is, is all you can drive is a truck. There's many things that you can drive and or operate while having your CDLs. So I was never influenced to get into trucking i never went on I, I never went on youtube and found a youtube trucker to see their journey to be influenced to come and join the trucking world i never did that i never did that so the question the question which you know which so the question, who is your favorite trucking influencer on social media? Well, to be honest with you, I don't have none. I don't, I don't, I don't have none. And I, I feel that influencers of trucking is what's the matter with the industry already. Drop it. Why, why you say that lockout? Because it is. It is. You have way too many people that's coming on that that's coming on social media over here talking misconstrues, misinformations, uh wolf tickets, and everything else about trucking. They if you don't realize what they're doing, only reason they're doing it is because they get paid for it. They come on social media and literally brag about the money that they get from either A, the social media platform that they're on, or two, or B, the trucking company that's that's giving them a referral bonus for them to promote the company that they drive for. That's the influence. See, influencer is 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 it's not a good word to use because again, like I said, influencer is the, is the reason why the trucking industry is the way it is right now. You got a whole bunch of people 
that looks to looks to social media and particularly TikTok and see how great that the other people are having while they're trucking, doing the marathon live feeds and 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 talking about how great and how much money that they're making and come along with my journey type influencers they're coming getting question getting asked questions that only they they can answer they can't answer for the broad spectrum of trucking they can only answer it because they can only they can only go off of their experience. Well, I only been trucking for like two months, but I think, you know, you, you, you can't. You don't have nothing to add. You only been in the business for two months. You can only explain how, what, and when you decided to go with ABC Company. That's about it. You can't give no broad spectrum of the company because you yourself is new. You can only tell the people, well, I called the company up. They approved me. I went through the orientation and now I'm in the truck doing my first load. I'll get back with you. I'll get back with you and let you know how it went after my first load. But you got people coming in there saying, well, how much do they start you at? How long do you got to, you know, asking you general questions that you probably can't answer? That's influence. You influencing people that they think they can come out here and make this kind of money, make six figures right off the rip. You influencing people thinking that they can come in here and do what they want. They can get home whenever they want. Well, you know, I can, I, I can get home whenever I want. Okay. What what division do you drive? Oh, I'm over the road. Then you don't get home whenever you want, bruh. Now, if you was to say that you was local or maybe regional, regional with a question mark, then maybe you can get home whenever you want. But if you're over the road, you're not getting home whenever you want. Now, if you got an emergency, yeah. Call them up, let them know, and then they'll get you home. But this is trucking. Something always goes wrong in trucking. Trust me, I know. I know. For the last for the last month, for me, it's been rough. So I know. But this is what you guys come to. And this is the question that was asked who is your favorite trucking influencer on social media my unpopular opinion was none i'm my i'm my own influencer you're a grown ass man you in your 40s 50s you honestly gonna go to social media and let social media influence your decision into doing something or a particular influencer to do something. I had, you know, I had one person that actually said lockout men. Now, listen, I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. But I'm not an influencer. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just a guy out here that, that drives for my money every, you know, I get a settlement every week and I make call videos. That's what I do. I call these companies. I get the information. Now, I said before, I kind of said before that if somebody was making the type of videos I was making, maybe I wouldn't be at U.S. Express. I, I, I probably wouldn't because I would have I would have watched that. I would have watched that guy's video, but I wouldn't I wouldn't say that he would have influenced me to get in the trucking though. I would say he helped it me. He helped me with, with, with an idea of which company that I could probably go to. But a lot of people had, you know, had a lot of, you know, they had a lot of people on that, 
on that post had a had a lot of uh, 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 good people on there. But again, unpopular opinion, which is me. I <laughs> I influenced myself. I you know again, when you get into the industry, you gotta want to get into the industry. You can't just let a TikToker, YouTuber, Instagrammer influence you into something that might not be good for you. Again, a lot of the, you, you got to understand a lot of these in so-called influencers only doing it for the money. They're only doing it for the money. They're doing it for the money. They 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 platforms are monetized, so they get paid for whatever they say. You know, the recruiter call channel is monetized, so for all the videos that I put up and you guys watch one of the ads on there, the recruiter call channel get paid for it. A lot of guys would come in and say, yeah, you know, this guy influenced me because of this guy is the reason why I got in the trucking because of this guy, this, that, and the third. Well, yes. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. But see, I, I don't consider myself an influencer. I like to consider myself as 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 uh as a tool to help. That's what I like to consider myself as. A tool to help. Because a lot of you guys reach out to me and ask me the same questions that all you got to do is just go back into the archives and I probably might have answered them already. But this is a good, you know, this was a good question and a good video topic because, you know, a lot of you guys uh, are easily influenced. Then when y'all get into this industry and y'all realize it's not, it's not all that's cut up to be, now y'all make your own videos talking about well such and such and such and such said it was great i'm here to tell you that it's not but because such and such said it was great that's why i got into it and look what happened to me i'm bankrupt but yet what's his name said it was a good idea to get in this industry because i can make six figures but yet when i got that first incident or accident i lost my license now what now what you gonna do you lost your license you lost your cdls you lost the, you lost the one option that that can help you take care of your family and now you're bankrupt because you lost your license congratulations you played yourself congratulations you played yourself now what now where to go back to walmart back to amazon back to uber back to lyft back to burger king back to mcdonald's hell back to pilot back to loves where where are you gonna where are you gonna find an employment that number one will employ you because of your background and y'all don't need to come on now y'all come on now y'all know what i'm talking about y'all background y'all spotty background you know you you know where you came from from the last five ten years you know what you was doing the last five ten years before you got in the trucking after you came out you got in the trucking you started making that good money and all like that but something happened you lose your you lose your cdl now you're back to what you, you're not making that that grand, that fifteen hundred, that two thousand dollars a week. Why? Because you don't have your CDL. You can't drive. Can't make that kind of you can't make that kind of money no more. Then what? Then what? 
what going to retail retail is on a downslide bruh hell it only just take one person to operate a store these days everything else is online what you gonna do do some online business what you gonna do make a make a make another youtube page or something like that what you gonna do jump on tiktok and 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 be uh uh be a tiktok tiktok influencer of other things hoping that every video that get watched you get paid for it but you know on tiktok you don't get paid much you get paid pennies what you trying to do buy all your subscribers on youtube so you can get a hundred thousand subscribers and then sit behind a computer all day and beg for money what you gonna do what you gonna do you you go you you gonna go back to go back to amazon amazon strict amazon strict shit you call off that's a point you get sick and you get sick and go home that's a half a point what you gonna do go to walmart i mean even though walmart is 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 paying about 15 16 bucks an hour What you gonna do? Go back, go go back to fast food, Burger King, McDonald's, Arby's. Are are we gonna see you at the at the Arby's truck stop, McDonald's truck stop? Are we gonna see you there? Hey, bro, I thought you used to drive. Yeah, man, I lost my license. I, oh, can you get him back? Uh, I I got him suspended for a couple of years. So that means that six figures that you was chasing has eluded you now because you lost your license. All because an influencer told you that this was the life. Congratulations, you played yourself. I'm my own influencer. I know you guys, are, you know, drivers. I know a lot of you, a lot of... I'm not even going to say old school drivers, right? And that's what you, you know what? If there was an influencer that influenced me, I'm going to say old school drivers across the spectrum. The 70s, the 80s, the 90s. The drivers that didn't have the technology of the day. The drivers that got it in the mud. The drivers that had to sleep in a cold ass truck. The drivers that had to power their way through a turn because they ain't had no, they ain't had no power steering. Drivers that had to that had to slide a plaque across the seats to make a bed, to make a makeshift bed without a mattress. Drivers that didn't have power. Drivers that didn't have inverters. Drivers that had to use two gear shifts in order to shift the truck. Old school drivers that had to that had to wait until the end of their shifts, go to a reputable restaurant and get a, a good home cooked meal while sitting in a payphone with a bucket of quarters to talk to their family drivers. If there's any, if there's any drivers that influence me, it will be those drivers. Drivers that had to get up in the morning and map out their routes. Drivers that had to call the company and be like, yo, I'm, I got your, I got your product. Um, how to get to how, how to get to the front gate or how to get to the to the truck gate or what 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 street this this street right here is not truck accessible how to get there drivers those the drivers that influence me not not this not this TikTok influencer that's sitting behind the seat TikTok dancing and talking about how great the trucking industry is not that driver not a beautiful woman and don't forget uh, don't get me wrong all y'all women is fine i can't find y'all i can't find y'all tiktok uh trucking women nowhere i can't find y'all where y'all at i can't find y'all 
I can't find y'all. Y'all, I'm 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 in Ohio. Y'all up in y'all y'all down in Houston, Texas, over in Florida, you know, Miami and all like that. Where are y'all at? But not these beautiful, not these beautiful TikTok women that be sitting behind their trucks all day. That that but that looks like y'all haven't been driving, but y'all so dialed up with makeup and and long fingernails that look like that could claw a uh, guy's back. Where y'all at? But y'all the ones that over here talking about how great it is to get in the trucking though. Nah, not 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 those drivers. Not those drivers. Not not the drivers that 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 does local and then come home and hop on a live feed. Not those drivers. Nah, those drivers don't influence me. But it is today's drivers, though. It is today's drivers. They see you. They hook, line, and singer you. Hey, come over to U.S. Express. U.S. Express is the best company to come to. You know why? Because you can make all this money. You start off at 60 cents a mile. You And the more you drive, the more you make. Those commercials. Hey, get your CD. They don't tell you. They, they just say get in the trucking industry. They just bypass the whole process of getting your license. Hey, come on over into the trucking industry. You know, and you know, the more you drive, the more you make. No, no, that doesn't happen all the time, though. And you don't even, and you know what? You know what? You don't even need a college education or a high school education for that matter. I mean, at least some companies, like some mega carriers, nah, you could be dumb as a box of fucking rocks and you could still drive a truck. And that's what, and, and that's where some of the stereotypes come in at. You can be dumb as a box of fucking rocks and you can still drive a truck. Drop it. You do 10 years, no problem. You can't find a job, no problem. Your, your, your CEO, uh, what is it, CEO, probation officer or whatever, they can get you hooked up. They can get you hooked up with, a, with, with your CDL. You want to know how they can do it? They can get a grant. Hey, uh, you know, Johnny, you know, Johnny messed up here. You know, he's, you know, he's been in, uh, incarcerated for 10 years. Of course, he can't get no regular job. So we want to get him his CDL so he can start driving trucks. Now, don't get me wrong. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me pull it back. There are some sets stories of guys that was incarcerated and came out and literally did a 360 degree. Shout out to you guys. Yes, shout out to you. But, but, but trucking, right? No other, no other industry that they're going to help you get into much more easier other than trucking. Don't you know if you if you was a diesel mechanic, you could make money? You know if you was a plumber, you could make money. There's there's still, you know, the sewer, septic sewer, and all like that. Ah, 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 ah. You know, the person that drives that little, that little dig thing that dig up the sewer, you need a CDL for that. <laughs> Yeah, consensus say you need a CDL in order to operate that little 
that little machine, because it's a commercial vehicle, to dig up the, the, the pipes for plumbing. Electric, uh, e e electricians. Nobody, nobody ain't doing TikTok dances or 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 influence videos for for that. And you know, to be honest, before I get on up out of here, and thank you guys, if you listen to me for this long, thank you very much. Yo, why don't you go in and consider hitting that subscribe button? the like button and that share button thank you very much the recruiter call channel will appreciate it but listen that word influencer i'm going to be totally honest with you i haven't heard of that word until i got into trucking <laughs> i mean i've been an entrepreneur for all these years before i got into trucking and i never heard influencer I never, never heard influencer. I'm honest. I'm, I'm being honest with you. I, I was a hustler for about 10 years before I opened up my, my stores in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. I had three of them. Success stories before the CDs became obsolete. I never heard of the word influencer back then. Then I got, then I opened up my own roadside company. I did, uh, you know, tire change, lockout. That's how I got my name, lockout men. You know, if I would have stayed in that, I would have had, you know, probably would have had a fleet of, fleet of, um, of trucks, a, a, a fleet of um, wreckers. Now, as far as the tow trucks, you don't need a CDL for that, but to drive a record for you know the total record for the for the semis of course you need a cdl for that see what i'm saying but i never heard the word influencer before i got in the trucking and then there they are you know like 2015 or 2014 when i got in the trucking i never i never heard of influencers but God damn it, man, like 20, 2015, no, 2016, 17, 18, 19, and then 20, when the pandemic hit, the pandemic hit, oh, that word trucking influencer was everywhere. That word influencer, along with the word trucking, was everywhere well what are you i'm a truck driver influencer i drive for such and such company and i'm here to tell you how great this company is and you can come on and join me and be with me and make all this money that i'm making which your your money that you're making is not a cost to the money that i will be making if i came over there to you i'm just saying but yeah influencer again i am my own influencer <laughs> i influence myself <laughs> oh, i influence myself y'all big g's got it locked boy want you to let me all night yeah take me down want you to make me real way yeah swim around want you to take it like a g and yeah, don't make a sound and i want you to miss me when i'm not around come dive in my Tell you no fuck around Cause they got you